the middle of, it's uh, right at the beginning of July. Some would say this is midsummer. This, this is wild. This is a wild grape. It's a wild grapevine. And it will grow grapes. I already accidentally stepped on one of them. It's been so long since I've seen a, a grape with actual seeds in it. But uh, wild grapes have very hard skin. The skin on them is very thick. And, I mean, if you look, you see this right here? It's all spinach. It's just a wild patch of spinach. It just sprung up. Look, that's spinach right there. It's spinach leaf. We have staggered, staggered stem. And you look at the back, and the back is, it's not shiny, but it's sort of furry. And they call that, well, it's not a spatula, it's some kind of oval shape. Mm. I love wild spinach. Very really good. This little plant right here, though. The bad thing about grapes, grapevine, is it will choke the plant it grows on. It will choke it to death. Because... It likes to wrap itself around the vine. So it grows on the support of other plants. And oddly enough, we still have we still have blackberries growing in mid July. Which is odd. Maybe by now they're all dried up and dead. What I was looking for out here. These plants, which I don't know what it is. It's a vine. You see? This right here is just a vine. And well, the flower is very unique looking. I mean, to me, that looks like a uh, you know, female anatomy part right there. But it is a. It's just a vine. It doesn't look like uh, it's from the Morning Glory family, but it's interesting. Hey, there's another one. Yeah, this is this is a new flower. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I haven't seen deer sign very much. Out. I don't know if this is a male or a female, the mimosa tree. This one already flowered and now it has the pod. I say that the mimosa branch, just the bark is useful for something. There's only one recorded video that I have of it, but apparently it has uh, dimethyltryptamine in the bark. Which is why they try to destroy the plant every time they see it. What am I looking for? Looking for uh, there was a flower out here, which was the coolest flower I've ever seen. Let's see all sorts of different expressions of nature. Like there you have. The one. This one looked really cool. I mean, I've never seen a flower like that before. Well, hey, let's stand out to the human eye. It looks like bright purple. The camera, of course, does not capture the true color of it. You know, I only saw one or two of these flowers. I'm hunting for them right now. Oh, it smells like mushrooms here. You can smell it. Anytime you smell mushrooms, you look on the ground. They'll be growing. It's 
It's very humid right in this area. So there's probably water. Water close to the surface. Okay. I'm not sure what this plant is. I don't know if it's edible. Yeah, that's edible. Hmm. It's got a little bit of cyan in it, so you probably have to cook it. What is it? I don't see the fire. You know, the heat came through here. It was hit 100 a couple of days ago. Close to it. You can see the heat coming off of the ground, like it was cooking and everything. That usually tends to kill the other early season plants. Huh. I just don't see it. It may have just bloomed for a week and then died. far out now. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, there's one left. That's it. Oh, look at that. 